If you want to keep your batteries running as long as you can, it's very important that you're going to hydrate them. Over time, they'll lose water and start deteriorating. On a Razer MX500 or an MX650 or really any electric vehicle, it helps a lot to hydrate the batteries. So in this video, I'm going to go through the process of removing everything and getting to the batteries, taking them out, hydrating them so we don't have to replace them. If it gets too far gone and your batteries are already just not good, they don't work anymore, this probably won't do anything. So if your batteries are still good, this is when you want to check them, make sure they're hydrated, and keep them in that good shape. I'll show you how to remove the batteries. The first bolt that comes out is right here by the handlebars, and it's a 3 millimeter hex. It might look like you need to take out these bolts here, but you don't. That's just holding on the plastic piece right here. There's two bolts here with a 5 millimeter hex on this side, and you might need a wrench to hold this side whenever you're turning it to remove it. Off comes the seat. To open up the battery chamber, there is a 3 millimeter bolt here, here, and then the rest around here are Phillips. So there's six bolts in total. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we can pull apart the battery casing. There's three batteries in here total, and we're gonna pull off the top one and check it. And the bracket bolts are taken off with a three millimeter. The batteries seem to be working good now, but if one of them were to dry up, you'd have to buy new batteries, so it's good to check it periodically while the batteries are good so you don't get to the point where they're bad. Same thing on the other side of the bracket. Now we'll remove the bracket. If you have some kind of glue holding this on, in this case we have hot glue, go ahead and remove now that. We'll tap off the connectors, and then we'll do the negative. Now we can pull out the battery and check it. In order to access the battery, we need to remove this top plate. Now we can remove that cover. You can see we have six cells, and each one of these would be two volt cells. Now we can go ahead and pull off some of these cells with safety glasses on, check for water, and if I tap it, I'm not, I'm not seeing any water in that cell. So that's good we're checking it, because if it runs dry long enough, it'll ruin the battery. With all of these cells dry, it's really only a matter of time before we need to get a new battery. So we need to rehydrate it. Now we'll put in some distilled water. A syringe works really well for this. You can get a controlled water stream into each one of these cells. You don't want to overfill these cells. You want to fill them up to the point where you can see it right at the bottom of the cap. You don't want to fill it all the way full or else when it charges, it'll pop off these caps and build pressure. These are taking up a lot of water. Just periodically check it. Move on to the next one. For the other two batteries, we'll take off this bracket. We let it charge overnight. We hooked it up back to the charging circuit so we could see how many of the caps are going to pop off. So in this case, four popped off, which means they were a little bit overfilled. We check the water level on each one of these cells and they all look good. They're filled up to where they're supposed to be. So this can be reinstalled. If you buy the battery packs from Razer, it'll come with these harnesses here. So you don't need to disconnect and reconnect the terminals, you just be able to unplug this, put in your new battery and plug it in. Here's another battery. This is one of the ones from the bottom. It's fully charged and there is no liquid in there. As I'm filling it, I'll just give it a tap so I get an idea of where my water level is. Now we'll put them in and charge them up. Charge them up and see if any of the caps pop. I'm expecting a few on the bottom too. Just we need to make sure we don't have the caps like the uh, top plates on whenever they want to pop off because we want to let them overflow if you have too much water. Charging it overnight, we pop some caps off. I think it's worth the extra time to go through this process, make sure there's no pressure in here because it's super important to have these batteries hydrated. If they're not, you really are going to start deteriorating the batteries. With everything hydrated, we're going to test our battery. And you can see it's at 12.7 volts, and that's good because this is a 12 volt battery. We'll just put one bolt in and take it for a test run. I'll just set the seat in place. The bike feels the same to ride. It's not exceptionally better. It doesn't have much longer range, but it just feels better knowing that the batteries are hydrated and that they can last longer.